this is H.J. Bailey, and now it's really time for the final showdown with Sin. Let's play Final Fantasy X! Before doing that, though, uh, one thing uh, someone suggested to put on Riku's uh, customized weapon there is Double Overdrive, now that I got all those uh, underdog secrets there. Yeah, so I can give that to her, and that would be pretty useful for her. I didn't think about that for some reason, but, well, there you go. I mean, Triple Overdrive would be better, but, you know, I don't have the reagents for that. But anyway, I'm just going to quick show my equipment here. If you really want to see it, well, pause the video. I try to go reasonably slow so you can see what I got. But everyone's got the same armor. It's just the weapons that differ from one character to another there. So, all right. The final showdown with Shane. I say, let's get this show on the road! Yeah, it's about time. Been doing a lot of preparations for this one. How overpowered could I possibly be? Actually, not that overpowered. I mean, it's not going to be nearly as hard as Omega. Here we go! But we should st we should be fine. Now, I, I don't think I'm that overpowered. I try to keep myself well, reasonably powerful. Yu Yevin's hiding somewhere inside Sin. And we're gonna find him. He's hiding in the ass. Well, zone. that sounds pretty simple. Hey, simple is the way you like it, right? You got that right. Yeah, that's why you got a freaking airship with I'm all these computers that. that can break down on you. Right, got you covered. How do they even know how to use a computer? Or yeah. A touch screen or, or anything like that. Well, I suppose they got TVs, so maybe they got computers. I don't know. Uh. I mean, they gotta have computers to run the TVs, right? I don't know. Wonder where they get this recording from, anyway. I wonder if all the faith are kind of helping us too, like all over the world, or is it just like in Bavel that this is all happening? I'd guess probably Bavel, since without Machina, I don't think they would have long-range communications to elsewhere in the world. But I don't know. Maybe they do. It has been a while since I talked Same to in the sky. uh whatever her name is. I hope everyone got the message. Shalinda. Shreen. I was about to say, how are we gonna find this guy? But then again, it is a giant whale, so well, how hard could it possibly be to find something like that deliberately? All right, we're going in. How are we gonna get inside? Oh yeah. The Didn't quite plan that part out. Up the nose? Well, let's go. Please tell me you're not gonna go in the other way, Titus. Yeah, we're gonna make him take it up the ass. Hey, how you plan on getting inside? Both literally and figuratively. If we can't get through the mouth, we'll rip open a new one. You with me? Oh. That's rather <laughs> gruesome. But then again, I suppose Sin has done some gruesome things too. Oh well. Now that's what I call a plan. Vidra, it go free do we car? The gun? <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. All right. Oh, of course. Big, blow hole. All you gotta do is jump. Sounds fun. Roger. Vulgar. I won't tell you to be careful. Do your worst, kiddo. Don't Roger. you want to do your best? Fit. Hmm? Riku, you uh, guard. Isn't she one of the guardians too, though? Well, we'll guard we'll each other. Do. We got one with Sentinel, but I never use that ability. I suppose I should more often. Just that in a turn-based RPG, tanking mechanics don't seem to really work that well usually. But eh, whatever. Any last-minute supplies before the showdown? Yeah, could use some extra potions, but uh, nah, nah. You're just selling stuff now? But of course. Once Sin I'm a greedy gone, bastard. What did you expect? We'll be building home, you see. Oh. Man, your dedication is really astounding. Your greed is really astounding. <laughs> but as we all know, greed is good. But you didn't see that reference coming, did you, viewers? Okay, well, anyway, yeah, let's, uh, we gotta go back up to, or, well, go out to the deck or the wing or wherever that garage door takes us there. 
in order to fight sin. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that one. Thanks for reminding me. You can tell the toxin is coming by the smell. Yeah, not very pleasant. Maybe you can hide in one of the buildings that Sin has on its back or something. Or on its head or something. It's got like buildings and stuff on them. Like when we were in Makala Lake Makalania there. Something like that. I can hear the song. Well, yes, yeah, they got loudspeakers here. I can here. hear the hymn too. Or it could just be the they people. Listen to us. So, is it down. working? Oh, I suppose Sin isn't attacking us yet. Or Bavel, for that matter. Yuna. Hmm? What's going on? You don't need this anymore, right? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ha ha. Right. What are you doing, Titus? I mean, not throwing that thing, but like showing that thing to her. What, what are you trying to embarrass her or, or, or loosen up, loosen her up or something? Or just kind of shake off the nerves or distract her from our impending doom? What, what was the point of bringing that up? Hey, guys. Guys, that's not good, yeah? What do you mean? I mean, we're kind of on an airship outside. You figure there's going to be some rumbling. Uh-oh. That's... So much for the song, huh? What's he doing there, anyway? Uh-oh. Like a man, man, or something going on. Or spirit bomb, or... Whatever DBZ attack you want to use for charging up a ball of energy or something. Oh, look, the moon's out. Um, okay, you missed. Trying to think of a Batman Returns reference. Uh, game? Did... Oh, he turned off the speakers! What, that's it? That's all your attack did? That wasn't very effective, but then again, I suppose if the song were to work, that might be bad for him. Huh? So, well... Or maybe it just made so much noise it canceled out the speakers, but they're still working or something. I don't... Whoa! Or he could have just frozen time. Hmm? What's going on? Oh! Darn, all the water... Oh. That's... How does it even work, anyway? Water wouldn't create fire like that, but... Maybe he shouldn't have, like, stood right in its line of sight or something, and or moved out of the way, or not been that close to the ground on an airship. Like, maybe be in the air and kind of shoot at it a little bit. Soften it up a little bit. Damn you, old man. Damn you for defending yourself. I, a shot at the base of arm. I, reckon I reckon it's a weak spot. spot. What? No one noticed that in the last thousand years? Well, I suppose anyone who would have gotten close enough to it probably would have died. Sin's pulling us in. And we didn't, they probably didn't have airships, so, so they probably couldn't, you know, get a sneak peek and then pull out real fast. So, okay, I guess that would be a good reason why they wouldn't notice that thing. Hit the diamond on its back. Yeah, pretty much. But anyway, okay, so this is basically like the fight with Efre early on. We can't hit him from afar, so what we gotta do is eventually move in. But as long as we're out here, Sin can't really do a whole lot with his fins there, whatever that thing is. 
So what I want to do is get full break on him. Really, the only breaks that he's susceptible to is armor and mental break. But we might as well just use full break. Whatever. You don't even really need the breaks. I'm just kind of doing that just to get their participation credit. Even though I don't really need it, need it anymore, I've gotten almost everything I care about on the Sphere Grid. But anyway, as long as we're way out here, let's double cast Flare! Yeah! Yeah, uh, the fin has 65,000 HP. Uh-oh. Did that negate the... the full break? Hmm. Well, better than him attacking us, I guess. Okay, let's get some more double casting going in there. If you didn't make Kamari into a black mage like I did, then probably use a black magic sphere on Yuna to give her... Uh, flare, so that way she can join in on the fun, too. But I haven't done that, so. Oh, well. Not that we really need it. And besides, I want to save Yuna for uh, overkilling the Finn here. I've got all my Aeons, or at least all the ones I can. Uh, their overdrive gauge is full. And we're going to need that if we're going to want to overkill this the Finn here. So, I'm just trying to think if I want to... Yeah, yeah. I you gotta tell Sid to move in. Closer, go closer. Just like Just in the fight with Every there, but it's gonna take a little while, so gotta do it a little bit in advance there. So let's see, a couple more flares ought to. Oh man, yeah, that ought to get him almost dead. But uh, Sid's only gonna move in like right before Sin gets his attack. That could be really bad for us. Uh, what I would want to try and do is bring in Yuna, because I want her to overkill the Finn there, and then have Titus get haste on her. Hopefully, she'll get her turn before Sin does. All right, there we go. The reason I want to use Yuna is because, well, her hands are the only thing that, ha that can break damage limit. And in order to overkill the Finn, you have to deal 10,000 damage. Whoa! Don't get too cozy there. But anyway, uh, yeah, the three Aeons that... Well, not three Aeons. Well, yeah, the three Aeons that I could use for this are Bahamut, uh, Anima, and the Mega Sisters. Although, in order for the Mega Sisters to work, I'd have to Grand Summon them. So that way they have their overdrives full. But in this case, I'm just going to use Bahamut because I think that's pretty much the easiest and most straightforward way to go. Yeah! Well, that didn't seem to do a whole lot. That weak spot kind of looks like Lavos's mouth in a way. I suppose that kind of makes sense, except that's not really a mouth. Here goes! Everyone, hold on to something! What do you Here mean? What am I going to hold on to? I'm on the wing of this thing. Or the deck. You don't exactly have handrails around here. You know, if we're going to be fighting all these battles on the deck of the airship, maybe you should have some safety rails or something. Installed. I don't know. I mean, you guys are good at that sort of thing, right? You're pretty handy. But anyway, for overkilling the fin, we get an, a couple of HP spheres. All right. Got it. Might put those to use. Thank you. All right. Everyone look sharp. Time to hit the other side. Easy for you to say. Oh, I guess we're just gonna take down his appendages one at a time. For boss time! Okay, and this one is pretty much identical to the last one there, so it should be pretty easy there. Let's get a good full break going in there, even though I don't really need it. Oh wow, full break costs a lot! I didn't realize it cost 99. I've never actually used full break before, I'll be honest with you viewers. Usually I just use either Oan's Overdrive to do that, or I just use the brakes individually. I usually don't need multiples at a time. Hmm. Maybe in the future I should have Oran use the Overdrives, or not Overdrives, um, Full Break, because he has the 1 MP ability on his weapon there. That might help. I'm surprised he used Negation so quickly, though. Hmm.
Yeah, he's not going to be doing a whole lot all the way back there, so. I'm thinking if I want to bring Sid in, but uh, not yet, not yet. Well, hmm. Nah, nah, we'll just go with Double Flare. Frog Flare? No. Nah. No, nah, that would be another game. That would be much better, too. Wasn't they able to break the uh, damage limiting Chrono Trigger? I forget. I thought it was one of those abilities that could deal, like... It, like, the game only displays 9,999, but it actually deals more damage than that. I forget. Not a big deal, regardless, but yeah. We should uh, get closer there. Right? Yeah, you gotta get it. Even though you might think that you shouldn't need to, you have to move in in order to use the AMs overdrives. You can't just kind of do that from all the way back here. Kind of annoying, actually. Whatever. Whoa! Nuts. Didn't quite see that one coming. Well, at least we're going to be moving in soon. Hopefully, I'll get a turn for Yuna before she... Or before uh, Sin gets his next turn. So, let's see. What are we going to go after next? The tail? So, let's see. Yeah, let's just... That. Bring in Yuna. Please get your turn. Ugh, damn it. Oh, well, maybe. If I can get haste on her like before, maybe that'll work. Hey, hey all right. Nice. Now, for this over er, overkill, I'm going to be using Anima. One thing that's interesting about Anima in the international version is that she has... Her overdrive's different. Uh, this, I think in the original... It was just, like, one massive attack, but in the International and HD remakes, for some reason, they changed it. I, I don't know why, but, but they changed it, so Anima deals, like, 16 hits, I think? Something like that? So, let's, uh, put it to use. I'll send you to Oblivion! Wait, do you got two heads? I don't know. Yeah, take him out, Seymour's mom. Okay, you got him. You got him. You can stop now. I think he's dead. Or at least the Finn is, anyway. But will we be able to blow away inside Sin now? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!